Yo, what's going on guys? This is Sid, aka Vicious274, coming at you with another review, and it's on this beast that is sitting in front of me. It's the Black River Ramps Funbox Ledge, and um, it is a phenomenal ramp uh, by Black River Ramps, like I mentioned before. Uh, before I get into the review, I'll just uh, give you guys the specs on this ramp. It's actually a bit bigger than uh, some of their un other fun boxes. Uh, actually, width-wise, it's a bit bigger because I have the fun box box, and uh, that one's a bit thinner than uh, than this the fun box ledge. Uh, but the length is 25 inches long. Uh, the width is about nine inches wide, and then to the highest point is approximately five inches. Um, and if you're not familiar with, uh, with Black River, um, all of their ramps come with these stickers on them that you could see here. But this sticker here and these two, I put on myself. So when you, if, when you order from Black River, you're only going to get these stickers on the obstacle. All these other stickers were uh, put on by myself. And they also have the classic branded logo right there. Um, the craftsmanship from Black River, you can't expect uh, any any less. I mean, their craftsmanship is phenomenal. It's impeccable. And it says, as in there, made in Germany. Um, when I got this ramp and I saw these screws here, I thought, that is awesome. I can actually take this ledge off and move it wherever I wanted. At least that's what my initial thought was until I took the screws out and realized that's not the case um, because this is this part is uh, glued to the wood as well. Um, not to say that I was disappointed, but uh, it would have been a really cool feature if, um, if I was able to move this ledge to any section on the ramp uh, that I that I wanted to. So I mean that would probably be a, a suggestion that I have for Black River. Mind you again, I don't know all the the specs on what's needed to making a ramp, so if it's necessary to glue this down and screw it, then obviously there's no way that you'd be able to, to move it. Uh, again, I'm not the expert, Black River is, but if it is a possibility to not glue this ledge down and just um, have it loose so you can unscrew the screws and move the, the ledge to either side, that would be a really cool idea. Um, but again, the ramp is craftsmanship. Again, you can explain how great it is. And you can see here that even on the metal, they stamp in the name. Um, all the tr transitions of the banks to the manual area are nicely sanded, uh, nice and smooth. Excellent transi transitions, no bumping. The coping as well. Is very smooth you're not gonna get locked up on your trucks on the coping when you're doing grinds and whatnot um, and another thing that I noticed about this ramp was that the ledge doesn't come all the way to the edge and um, when I first got this ramp I kind of had an idea of why they did that but it was actually my buddy Mike Gibbs um, which you've probably seen us do some videos together his YouTube name is Red Dragon 93 he actually verified my I my thought on why they did that and what he said he even asked me i was at his house and he asked me he goes they said do you, do you know why they they left this gap here and didn't put it all the way to the edge and i was, I was like i kind of had an idea but i wasn't too sure but he kind of explained to me that when you're coming up with your fingerboard and you pop um you're not gonna you're not gonna you're gonna have more um room to use on this side of the bank because if the ledge came all the way to the edge and then you go to pop, it's you're you're kind of good. You kind of have to pop at the middle of the bank if the ledge came all the way to the to the to the edge here, so that you wouldn't like hit the nose or the tail onto on the ledge. So I guess Black River realized that and set the ledge back a bit so that you can get full use out of the the bank or kicker, whichever you want to call it. So you you can come up right to the top, pop, and then do your trick and then pop out. Um, so that was a really good idea. And again, Mike, thanks for confirming that for me. Um, the ramp, it has unlimited possibilities. It is so much fun. Um, you can obviously use it in any direction, switch or regular. Um, just, just by flipping the ramp around. It is, uh, so much fun. And again, like I, I said before, 
It would be cool to be able to move this ledge, but it's really not that big of a deal. I just thought it would be a little something extra that would be even make the ramp even more cooler than it already is. Um, but again, I can't say that there, really, there are no complaints when it comes to Black River's products. They are flawless, um, very smooth, and it's as big as this ramp is, it is super light. Um, the wood is a light type of wood, but yet um, high quality and durable. It lasts a long time. And they also came with non-sliders already on them, which I forgot to mention. And uh, it is just a ton of fun. If you pick up this fun box, it is phenomenal. You also have the option of, you know, because Black River has a few fun boxes. They have the fun box box, the fun box rail, the fun box kink rail, and the fun box ledge. Uh, I mean, if you have a rail, you can always set it here on top or on top here or a down rail. You can add things to this to make it even that much more fun. If you have like a, a little bench, you can put it here and do like all kinds of combinations. The combos with the ramp just by itself are endless. Um, but yeah, it is a great ramp and Black River Ramps makes all kinds of great products. I'm going to have the link to their website in the video description so you guys can click it and uh, check out all of the awesome ramps, decks, and everything else that uh, Black River offers. All right, guys, so again, this is the Fun Box Ledge. I recommend it to anybody. It is so much fun and has quickly become one of my favorite ramps. All right, guys, so link is in the description. Go check out Black River Ramps and keep fingerboarding. Two fingers, peace.